Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, I have another AL Ford Strongest Team deck profile, and it is by far probably my favorite deck from this set because I just love Pale Moon as a clan. Um, I was never a real big fan of the Beast Hammers, so I'm sort of on the fence if I want to build this. Um, so just so you guys know, there's going to be a couple cards in this deck profile that are from Nova Grappler. They are filler for the basic units you'd run these slots. There's other cards you can obviously run. These are just the cards I like and the application I use on Tabletop Simulator or the workshop uh, that has all, that adds in all the reboot cards. This hasn't added in the triggers or anything else yet. So this is what I'm running. Um, it's subject to change as I have yet to actually play test, but this is what I think would work best. So let's get right into it. We're going to start off with our grid threes as always. We're running nine of them in this deck. And we're going to go down the line. So first off is Golden Beast Tamer. Her skill is Continuous Vanguard. If you have five or more units during your turn, all your units on the front row get 3k. Passive 3k, that's what sh Maelstrom should have been. And it is a great card. Moving along, when this when it attacks, cost Counterblast 1, put a card from your hand into your soul, and call up to two cards from your soul to rear guard. So this is really good, being that it's the vanguard skill. It will replenish your attacks. Um, you could attack with everything and then get some really unique skills off. Which I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly we get in the deck. We're going to move on to your next grade 3. Which works really well both on vanguard and rear guard. You saw nothing there. We have Nightmare Doll Alice. She has a vanguard and rear guard skill making her very versatile. So... Uh, she has the Imaginary Gift Excel, like the prior uh, Golden Beast Tamer. Um, her skill, when placed, call up to one work droid from your soul, and that unit gets 5k until end of turn, which I believe is Nightmare. can't remember if Nightmare Beast Tamer is a work droid, because I just realized we don't have um, unit type. So, I'm pretty sure she is, though. If not, there's bound to be some other work droids in the deck, or you just call... Nightmare Doll Alice. Oh, wait, it says it right. Wait, call. Oh. Work Droid. Is it in the bottom? Okay, so yeah, this card is in Work Droid. So we have some Work Droids, like I said. Um, her rear guard skill is at end of battle that, that it attacked, cost Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, and put this unit into your soul. Call a card other than a Grade 3 from your, from your soul to rear guard powerful skill and has a bunch of combos especially with the excel marks you're going to be trading units out moving along we have chimera uh comedical i cannot read we have a chimera from the original series when it attacks cost soul blast one and put another rear guard into your soul this unit gets 5k until end of turn and if you have if you're not counter charge this turn counter charge one so you can combo with these cards very easily you call this out off of her skill or off of her skill. And there's just a lot of things you can do. Actually, I just realized these cards don't combo at all. I mean, I guess technically, if you don't have the counter blast, you can send Alice to Soul and use its skill to counter charge one to use another Alice later on. That's always a possibility. This card's here because it's a good card. Moving along, we have Magical Box Tamer. I think that's what it's meant to be. Um, no, it's not. Tre Magical Box... I don't know English at all. Box Tremor. Um, when your opponent's attacks hits this unit, cost Counter Blast 2, discard a card from hand, call up to 5 rear guards from soul to... Call up to 5 cards from soul to rear guard. Conti continuous... During your turn, if you have a Magical Box Tamer in your soul, this unit gets 3k. So what this card is, is it's meant to be your second ride. It's meant to just plenish your field the turn before you go grade 3. And then once you hit grade 3, you have a full rear guard and you're, start ab you're able to start manipulating how your battles are going to start working. Moving into our next work droid, we have Jumping Jill. When placed from soul, cost put one of your rear guards into your soul. Call a card other than a grade 2 from your soul to rear guard in the back row. So, this is going to get you out a grade 1 booster for something else. Um, you're going to find ways to combo this card with others in the deck. 
and it works well. Last in our grade two lineup is Nitro Juggler. Uh, when placed from hand, look at the look at two cards from the top of your deck. Put one among them into your soul and put the put one card among them to the bottom of your deck. And he's also a work droid, so these cards work well with each other. But his skill will allow you to filter cards from the top of your deck. He's also a vanguard slash rearguard, so his skill works out beautifully with the deck and ha practices synergy. Moving along to the grade ones, like I said, we're going to have some units that aren't in the actual that aren't actual part of it. So this would be the Dark Metal Bicorn. Um, the application, as I stated, has yet to add that in for whatever reason. So this is the unit we'd use. I'm using as a substitute because it was available to me. Um, so it's a 9k base, and it's I believe Bicorn is let's check out it's a high beast, but it has no skill. So moving along, we have starting presenter when placed from hand, soul charge one. When wrote upon cost, put a card from your hand into soul and soul charge one. You may call the soul charge card to rear guard. So, nice early game ability when wrote upon. It's just gonna get you plays. You go, so essentially what you want to do is ride this, then this, soul charge one, and then whatever you soul charge, any of the cards in the deck, you can call it. So if you get that the grade three out, you're gonna really start ramping some skills. If, again, if you have the availability counter blast, so on, so on. The deck does have a lot of good synergy. Um, if we move along to the next card, which is one of my favorite cards in all of Vanguard history, is Midnight Bunny. When it boosts Soul Charge 1. When an attack when an attack that is boosted hits cost Counter Blast 1, put this unit to soul and call one non-grid one from your soul. So ideally what you want it how this deck wants to work in a combo is use Nightmare Doll Alice to call out Jumping Jill. Use Jumping Jill to call out a Midnight Bunny, and then you can use Midnight Bunny to call out an Alice, and you can rinse and repeat the cycle. It's as long as you have the Counter Blast, because if I remember correctly, Jumping Jill doesn't have a Counter Blast. Call it another, other than Grade 2, so yeah. So as long as you have the available real rear guards, you're going to be good, especially your field has to be set up particularly well for the combo to work. But there is a combo where you can literally just filter through a handful of attacks at least a bunch of times. Which I'm hoping to replicate in a future video when I eventually get around to using um, Asian Circuit in Strongest Team for card fights. Moving on to the triggers, which again are just substitutes because they have yet to be added into the game. We are running two criticals. Four frontal trigger, four front triggers, not frontal, front triggers. Six draws, two of the, or four of them being the PG draws. Four heals and the one starter. I could get those names for you, but I'm pretty sure you guys can figure those parts out. They're the only units in the actual booster box. So as an overall, that is my deck profile. There's some good combos in here. I'm hoping to actually play around with the deck on stream at some point. Um, let me guys know what deck you guys want to see next. I've had a request for Dimension Police, so I might do that next. But let me know what AL4 deck you guys would really like to see. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.